Asana versus Monday, which one is a better project management tool? Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a comparison between Asana and Monday. We will figure out which one of these platform is better for you to use for your team management and more. So let's get started. Monday.com is a project management software and a CRM. With Monday, we will be getting our own different dashboards and we can work on our software development, marketing, project management, sales and CRM, task management, HR operation, and more. Then we have Asana.com. Asana is also another famous project management software that allows you to manage your team, organize your task, and also access all of these different integrations. It's an amazing hub that you can create for your work. The signing up process for monday.com is really easy. You can sign up and get started with just your email address or you can sign up with your Google account. Similarly, signing up on Asana is also really easy. You can click on get started and it will allow you to create your brand new account with just your email address and your Google account. You can see right here. So once you sign up for Monday and Asana, you will be able to avail their dashboards. So this is the dashboard for monday.com. I have opened it up. You will be able to see all of these different features and tools that we get on Monday. I will compare the different features, you know, side by side so that you can get a better idea and you will get this whole tutorial for yourself to compare these two. Um, then I have the dashboard for Asana right here. You can see this is my Asana. I will show you how I create a workspace, how I create boards, tasks in Asana and what are the different features that we get in Asana. Asana. Before we get into the dashboards, let's go ahead and compare the pricing really quickly so you will have an idea about the affordability of the platform. Of course, we have the pricing plan for Asana. You can see right here we have three plans on Asana. The first one is a basic plan which is going to be $0 per month and it gives us unlimited essentials, three project views and basic workflows. Then we have a premium plan on Asana which is $10.99 per user per month built annually and $13.49 built monthly. And then we have a business plan which is going to be $24.99 USD. Uh, per user per month if built annually and 30.49 if built monthly so this is the pricing plan for asana pretty basic plan and these are three plans that we get let's move on to monday.com and this is the pricing plan for monday so on monday we actually have a variation of different plans so the first one is an individual plan which is going to be free forever so we're getting a free plan in asana and in monday then we have a basic plan which is eight dollars per user User per month total is $24 per month if built annually then we have a standard plan which is going to be $10 per seat per month total of $30 per month if built annually and then there is a pro plan which is going to be $16 per seat per month total of $48 if built annually and then there is an enterprise so you can see right here the pricing plan if we compare it right away we're getting a premium for ten dollars and right here we are getting another basic which is eight dollars so the pricing plan of monday is more basic than asana but both of these platforms are quite reasonable now let's move on to the features up first we have monday.com this is the basic dashboard that we get in the basic dashboard we can actually select from different workspaces this is a main workspace this is a default workspace that you get with monday on monday we can create more than workspaces and each workspace will have its own data and all of the different boards you can create a brand new workspace by just clicking right here and give your workspace a name click on create workspace it it will allow you to now create different boards so to create a board you can add from a template on a monday uh, we get a lot of different templates you can see right here we have marketing project management freelancers design software development startup education construction so i'm going to go with project management and let's quickly go with the agile project management click on use template and it will open it up for you so this is our board right here on monday and you can see we can do a lot on monday first thing is that we can change the name for our board whatever name you want to give it so let's call this project then help there you go then we have the views views are really important you can click on this add view button and you will be able to select from all of these different views we have form 
Farm, Gallery, Gan, Kanban. So I personally like this view right here, which is already added. So I'm going to just select this one. This is really easy view. And I personally prefer a Kanban view, which is like a board view that we get. To create a new item in any of these different groups, all you have to do is click on Add Item and give your item a name. Let's call it Task 1. Enter and a new task will be created. Once a task is created, then you can select a group. You can create different groups right here. It depends on you. You can create different groups for our, maybe we can create a to-do list, ideas and research, completed, recorded, edited. So you can add different groups right here and select the group where you want to add it. And then we have an owner, so we can add an assignee, of course. So I will just assign it to myself. Then we have a priority and we can set priorities or add more labels. So I'm going to set it to high priority. Then we have domain, tire, timeline. Timeline allows us to add a due date. Then we have task progress and more. Once a task is created, you can close it and you will see this is the task that I just created right now. We have the share option on Monday. You can invite as many team members as you like with just an email address right here we are getting integrations in the integration center you will be able to integrate from a lot of different platforms such as gmail outlook slack mailchimp we have zoom google drive box asana we can we can integrate asana to a monday type form and more so we can integrate any kind of application to customize our monday experience we have automation option in automation center you will be able to set automations according to different categories such as notifications status change due dates item creation move items or sub items so this will help you save a lot more time using monday then we can click on this bar right here and it will allow you to explore more products and in more products we have monday marketers we have monday sales crm so it's an all-in-one platform that gives you these basic features we also get our own inbox right here on monday then we have our own work my work where you will be able to see your work separately and then, of course, we have a notification option. So Monday allows you to create these tasks and then we can add power ups. We have filters. We can add assignees, due dates, change names, anything you want to. You can do it easily on Monday now we have asana what you have to do is once you sign up this is where you will get so on asana again we have a main dashboard and here we have my task inbox reporting portfolios and goals this is where i will be able to see all of my boards that i have created and the projects that i have created to create a brand new project on asana you can just click on project you can create a blank project or you can use a template. If we click on use a template, then I can choose from all of these different templates available, such as marketing, sales, and meetings, product, sales, in HR, IT, design, and more. So for now, what I'm going to do is I will just simply go with a basic business plan one. This is what it looks like. Click on use template. Give your project a name. Let's call it Zinho and I'm going to click on create project. So once the project is created, again, we get a lot of different views on Asana as well. We can go with the list, board, timeline, calendar, workflow, and more. So these are the different views available. We can share our workspace with this button right here and enter an email address to invite someone. We have customized option right here that allows us to customize our Asana the way we want to. So we can add different fields to our tasks that we create. We have assignees, due dates, created by, created on, last modified, projects we can also add different rules so these are the different things we will be getting with the task um, we have apps option available apps mean that we can add integrations just as uh, we were getting integrations on monday so we can integrate anything we want to right here from this app option and asana is really famous for its integration because it's really easy to add different applications that you're already using into your asana workspace we can also create forums and we have task templates this is the customize option 
and we can filter our search very easily. Similarly, if I click right here on the project, we can change the color for the project, of course, and then I can add layouts, I can duplicate it, I can import um, it as an email, CSV. We have print option and delete project. So to create a brand new project right here on Asana, all you have to do is click on add project option and give your project a name. I will call it task one and click on enter and your new task will be created. Uh, let's open it up and now what I can do is I can add a signee then we have a due date and I can just select any due date I want to then we have project name description subtask and comments so this is the basic view of a project uh, of a task right here on Asana similarly I can create more sections if I want to I can create workflows get a calendar view really easily then we have our own inbox and I can also get reports of my project right here on Asana. To move a project from a one list to another, it's a simple drag and drop. And right here on Monday as well, it's a simple drag and drop to move a task from one section to another. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know the difference between Monday and Asana. You know their pricing plan and different features and tools that we can avail using Monday and Asana. It depends on you which one you want to use. Monday is an all-in-one platform that is able to actually deal with large businesses and then Asana also has very professional tools for us to help us create a customized workspace. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.